A few weeks ago, I actually posted a video in regards to a two minute strategy that is looking very promising and very profitable. And more importantly, that it's super, super easy to use. So in this specific video, I'm going to give you a follow up in regards to it. And of course, show you my live trades in regards to the strategy. Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, we're gonna trade with Olim Trade and show you a two minute strategy that is working really good with this broker. But hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, Forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the video. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is to show you my live trades with this specific strategy so that you pretty much understand how is it that I'm using it, how I place my trades and to see whether I was profitable or not. So let's go ahead and dive right into it.
All right, so as you can see, my results are actually kind of hanging in there. I actually had, uh, let me see, this was December 14th. I had a total of uh, one, two, three wins. And then on October, that was in the 13th. And then the 14th, I had one more win. So that's a total of one, two, three, four wins and two losses. That's around 67% accuracy, which is not great, but is not bad at all. As a matter of fact, if you guys recall, I started this account with $50 and right now I'm on $88. Obviously with this specific broker, I'm super, I'm actually being super conservative because I'm actually showing you the real way of trading that you as a beginner should have now in the other videos you might see that i actually turn uh one dollar into five thousand dollars and i risk a lot of money but here i'm actually trying to be a lot more conservative and show you that you can bring a small account into a more profitable um, level by just being very cautious and stopping after a few losses. So as you can see right here, I placed a couple of positions and then I won, uh, I lost the two positions and then I stopped, but this trade was actually already active, so I couldn't really stop. And this one right here, it was from two days ago. So it was a whole different business day. Now let's go ahead and talk about the broker that I'm using before I continue with this video. The broker that I'm actually using for this strategy is uh, Olim Trade. Now, Olim Trade is a fully regulated broker that is available almost worldwide. Obviously, it's not available in the U.S., in Canada, in India. I think it's not available. I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I'm for sure I know that the, the states in Canada is not allowed, but in many other countries, it is indeed allowed. Now, one of the things that I really like about this specific broker is that you can actually filter the pairs based on the actual uh, but based on the actual payout that you have available. So if you actually go to 80%, you're going to see all the pairs that are available, such as GBP USD. You see even uh, some stocks and community as well and indices. It's really up to you if you guys want to trade with it. For instance, we have NVIDIA as the stock and you can trade with any of them as long as you actually are looking forward to trade with uh above 80 percent we have ibm right now at this specific moment we're going to talk about the settings of the strategy in just a little bit but this specific broker offers you a free demo account i think for up to ten thousand dollars if i'm not mistaken and the minimum deposit is as low as 50 bucks so yes you can go ahead and get this broker and deposit and start using it with as low as 50 dollars if you guys want to give it a try you guys want to visit the broker i'm gonna have the link below in the description of this video so you can go ahead and check it out now let's go ahead and talk about the strategy settings of this specific broker uh of this specific strategy so we only need two indicators the first thing that you guys have to do is actually set the candlestick time frame into one minute as you can see right here we got 50 seconds we got one minute five minutes and so on so we're going to leave it at one minute okay and this strategy is going to be for expiration of two minutes as you can see right here two minutes that's what it's going to take in this specific broker yes you can choose the clock and choose the expiration time but honestly i do prefer to stick to um this expiration right here two minutes and that's pretty much it you're good to go i do recommend you to trade with no more than five percent of a balance if you want to be more conservative and stop after two losses or even after one if you don't feel confident enough to continue so once you're actually done with it all you need to do is actually select an indicator right here in this area you can see this area this is the candlestick in order to choose candles bars and area and here in this area you're going to have the indicators now this is actually going to pop up and all you need to do is choose two different indicators one of them is actually called stochastic in this area you're not going to find it as stochastic oscillator because some of the brokers have it as stochastic oscillator now this one's stochastic just like that plain stochastic so you click on it and basically uh, right now I'm adding a second one because I already have one. So I, I will just go ahead and delete one and you're going to see two levels of 80 and 20 and that's it. You're going to be good to go. And the second indicator is RSI is this one right here and you click it. I'm not going to click on it or I'm going to click it just so that you see exactly how it is. But it's basically this one right here is the same one. So I'm going to delete one and it's the level of 70 and the level of 30. OK, as long as you actually have that, you're good to go again. Now, what is it that this strategy actually does? This strategy actually finds for oversold and overbought conditions 
in the market so whenever you actually see that the stochastic oscillator is outside of this boundary of 80 or this boundary of 20 that basically means that the market is over the boundaries if it's above the level of 80 that's an overbought market and if it's below the level of 20 that's an oversold market and it's the exact same thing but with the level of 70 and 30 on rsi if it's right here that means that it's overbought and if it's right here that means that it's oversold Hopefully that actually makes sense. It's really not that hard to understand. Now, how is it that you enter the positions? You're gonna enter the positions at the moment that you see that the price of the market is overbought. Let me just go ahead and choose a currency though. At the moment that you see that the price is oversold or overbought in both of the indicators, okay? How is it that you actually choose this? For instance, right here, it's oversold. And here, as long as it touches or it goes below or over the levels, uh, that I explained to you in regards to RSI, then you're good to go. You enter a two minute trade in that specific moment. For instance, right here, this is the candlestick that I see the best entry point, boom and boom. It will expire right here for a cold position. And you're supposed to do the exact same thing for the opposite direction, which would be the sell position, okay? But let me just go ahead and find one example of the sell position. Markets have been crazy this morning where uh, we had a lot of news. So let me let me just go ahead and look for a different pair. I think it would be easier. Uh, let's go to Euro USD. Okay, this one right here, this area right here. As you can see, now even though it went over the level, this is a good entry point. You enter for two minutes, and that's pretty much it. That's basically what the strategy does. It does give you where it when is going to be the next retraction. So you're supposed to just enter that retraction, and you're gonna be good to go as simple as that as you can see on the on the videos where the light trades that i was able to place um i was able to actually like enter at the exact same uh, moment of the crossover of the stochastic oscillator and that's what you're supposed to do now i got more videos in regards to this specific strategy but if you want to see more tutorials in regards to it make sure you leave a comment below uh saying chris i want more tutorials in regards to the strategy or more tutorials or yes i want more whatever you want to comment below in the comment section and i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna make more videos in regards to this specific strategy hey in addition before i continue with the content of this video i just want to give you a warm invitation to a free binary options training that i'm actually going to have this week it's about binary options being dead for 2022 so if you want to like be with me in this discussion where we're going to talk about whether binary options are going to be dead in 2022 or not then the link is in the description of this video for you to register with this specific webinar and we have limited spots available and you have to go right now you're going to get the date and time of the next webinar and you can attend 100 percent free with me and make sure that you ask all these questions that you have in regards to binary options it's going to be super super powerful so the invitation is right there hopefully i can see you there now i do want to give you a couple of extra tips in regards to this strategy so that you fully understand uh like how is it that you could be in the profitable side number one is take a look at the rsi whenever there are crazy days such as today whenever you see that the rsi is completely outside of the boundary you better stay away from it all right the the perfect entry point for this specific strategy is whenever the rsi touches the level and then retracts if it goes below the level too much then it's basically telling you that it's a completely oversold or overbought condition and it will continue on that trend at least for a little bit so it's just better to stay away from it and just go for it and look for a different pair number two tip that i want to give you is with this specific strategy you can place multiple entry points whenever you see for instance if it's going to be a put position and you see that the candle has huge a jump then you can enter more than once into that trade but if you're going to do that make sure that you're trading with no more than one percent of your balance so if you enter three four positions in the same uh setting then at least you're risking no more than four percent of your balance you can win two or win three and lose one that's okay but that's going to be risking only four percent of your balance super important and number three tip that i want to give you in today's video is don't place more than five positions 
in the day. Okay, I know this strategy gives you a bunch of entry points and it's it's super tem uh, like uh, it, there's a temptation to actually just keep on trading because it th it's so easy to follow the strategy, but you can end up burning up your account if you don't control your emotions. So just stick to five or stop after the two losses and continue the next day. And trust me, it's way better to go slowly increasing your account than to lose it in just one day. Hey, so hopefully you enjoyed the content of this video. And if you did, smash the like button to support this YouTube channel. But more importantly, if you guys have any questions or comments to share, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and my team will be happy to reply to you. And if by any chance you guys have any questions or comments to share, you can always contact us at support at blwonlinetrading.com. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.